Word of God, it's uh, it's good for us if we take it and we apply it to our life. And, uh, uh, it don't change. The Bible said in uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16, he said, Stand ye in the ways and see. And as for the old paths, he said, We're in is a good way. And he said, Walk therein. And, but you know what they said, Galley? said, They not walk therein. And that's the way a lot of people is today. They don't want the Word of God. It, it confuses their life. It, uh, it throws a, a wrench in the way that they live. and It, it don't line up with their lifestyle. But uh, I'll tell you, but when you get born again, amen, you'll want to live that life. You'll want to walk the straight and narrow path that God's put out for you. And I had some scripture on our mind this morning. And the book of Luke 13, and chap, uh, chapter 13, verse 11, the Bible said there was a woman that had an infirmity, a, a spirit of an infirmity for 18 years. She was bowed together and the Bible said she in no wise could lift up herself. And Ain't that the way we try to, we, we try to fix it ourselves a lot of times? Uh, I believe in a weak man but a strong God that's able to make a difference in her life. And that's the reason we have to have the new birth. We, we can't muster this up on our own. We can't get it out of ourselves. And... Uh, he said this woman had a spirit of infirmity 18 years was bowed together and no wise could lift up herself. When the Lord saw her, He called her. Amen. That's the way God does. He calls men and women out of the field of sin. How does He do it? The Bible said by the foolishness of preaching, it pleased the Lord to save them that would believe. He called her and He said, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. There are a lot of people today that are bound by the devil. Just to tell you the truth, the devil's got them so blinded, amen, how they're bound in sin. And you know what he does? He, how the Bible said in the book of Peter, he said, the devil cometh not but for to kill and to steal and destroy. And that's what he's doing. But the Lord come along. You know what he does, Brother Galley? Amen. The Bible said in Luke chapter 11, he said, when a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. He said, but when a stronger than he come, he taketh his armor wherein he trusted. And that's the way the Lord works. The Lord is stronger than the devil when he comes in. Amen. And he renovates from the inside. You know what he does? It's just like a building you renovate. Hey man, you clean the inside and you put a sign outside and you say under new ownership. Hey man, that's the way I am. I no longer serve the devil, Galley. I'm a servant of the Most High God. But this woman in no wise could lift up herself. We can't save ourselves. We can't in no wise lift ourselves up. We need the Lord. You know what God will do? He'll straighten you up. How many people have you heard uh, uh, say that I've got to get this straightened up? I've got to get this tucked care of uh, before I can ever think about serving God. You know why you need to serve God? Get right with God uh, and let Him straighten you up this morning. Uh, and that's the way it works. Uh, we can't muster it out of our flesh. Uh, in Mark chapter 14, the Lord said, uh, the flesh is weak uh, and it is His weak today. But praise God, the Spirit of the Lord when He comes in and takes up His abode. The Bible said when the Lord called this woman and He said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmities. And you know what He done? He touched her and the Bible said she was made straight and she glorified God. You know what? The Lord's able to straighten your life up. He'll straighten you up. You know something else? He'll not only to straighten you up, he'll pick you up. I thought about Acts chapter 3. The Bible said Peter and John went up into the temple and the Bible said the third hour, there was a little man that laid by the gate that was crippled from his birth and looking for somebody to ask the alms. And Peter and John came and the man asked the alms. You know what Peter said? Silver and gold have I none but such as I have I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ and that he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. He'll always straighten you up. He'll pick you up. Hey Amen. Give you some joy in your life. You know what the Spirit of God represents? The grapes on the vine. He represents joy in the life. Hey Amen. I can go home tonight and no matter what the world's going on. Hey Amen. And I've got joy in my life. Whether I wake up in the morning, hey man, or whether I don't, I've still got joy in my life. He'll straighten you up and he'll pick you 
up this morning. You know what they done after that man leaped up and entered into the temple leaping and praising God? Everybody run up to Peter and John. Peter said, why are you looking at me? As though by my power or my holiness have made this madness a while. He's saying in other words, it wasn't in my head. It wasn't in me today. And it ain't in me today. Amen. He said, Brother Jim, he said through faith in his name, have made this man strong. Amen. He went over in verse 12. He said, neither is there salvation in any other. No other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That's all we need to realize. It's still in him, PC. He'll straighten you up. He'll pick you up. Amen. He's what we need in our life today. But so many people saying we got to get this took care of. Amen. I got to straighten this up. Amen. Today, you might be here today and gone tomorrow. How many people, amen, they didn't realize it. This COVID 19, they never thought it would come to their house. One day they was home, and the next day they was on a ventilator. Amen. Listen, that's the reason we need to get things straightened up today. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the days of provocation. Amen. Listen, David said, There is but a step between me and death. Hey, there's a death, there's an appointment. We're going to meet it. So while we have air in our lungs, the blood going through our veins, amen, while we're in our right mind, we ought to realize we need God. We can't straighten it up on our own. Amen. The Bible said after that the kindness and the love of God appeared toward men. When was that? Hey, I say it's when he hung. When they hung him high, they stretched him wide. That's when the kindness and the love of God toward man appeared. Amen. He died for you, friend. So we need to realize it takes him to straighten our life up. I tried to straighten up on my own. I tried to do it. But Brother PC, I tried to straighten up, but you know what? I just got worse. Hey Amen. It took God to come on the inside and clean house. Take that strong man and bind him. People are bound by, the, by Satan today. They need to be loosed. No other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. Just straighten you up. Hey Amen. Don't wait too long. Don't be left outside. Amen. It could be you on the ventilator. We'd be praying for you by this time tomorrow. I love you, boy. May God bless you.